Um, let's keep this going for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hugging those knees into the chest again. And then from here, just allowing the thighs to straighten up, keeping the bend in the knees. And lifting your arms up with your elbows off the floor, but we don't want the arms straight up. We just want them gently bent. But your shoulders nice and flat to the floor. Just feeling in this position nice and soft and bringing those elbows closer together so they're more shoulder width apart but with those shoulders nice and flat on the floor good and staying like this or widening those knees out holding on to the outer edge of your feet into a nice happy baby pose and in this pose you can find stillness or if you prefer to move around a little bit feel free to do so and as we take three more breaths here and allowing those legs to come together feet to come to the earth and we'll roll over onto our side and make our way all the way up to standing at the top of the mat so we want to stand with our feet hip distance apart and just take a look down at the feet see are they in a nice straight line putting a little bit of pressure onto your big toes, which will just help keep the arches of the feet up. Think about engaging the quad here. So we're gonna, we're gonna make this uh, stand quite strong by engaging the quads, just lifting the knees up slightly, engaging the core, opening out the chest by bringing the hands, the palms to face the front. Now let's take three breaths here. So keeping the shoulders soft, but nonetheless have the body engaged. And slightly softening that stance. Let's just raise those arms up and bring them together in prayer up above your head. Closing your eyes here, let's connect again with that inner self, that quiet, quiet self. And taking a bend over towards the left. So you want to keep or bend in a nice straight line. So it's not about how deep you bend, it's keeping that nice alignment. Shoulders still in line, as in on the same plane as your hips and your legs. And taking one more breath here. Coming up through center to take it over to the other side. And as we inhale, let's think about finding length in the spine here. As we exhale, seeing can we take that bend just a millimeter deeper. And one more breath. 
coming up to center and bringing the hands onto the hips let's just begin to circle them you stay at the top of the mat i'll just come so to the front so you can see what i'm doing so nice big circles with the hips really getting that pelvis moving first in one direction and then let's take that into the other direction and coming to stillness let's take that right hand and bring it all the way over for a bend once again to the left really feeling that space now that we're creating here beginning to find the space in the spine and one more breath and bringing it up to take it over to the other side. And one more breath. Mm, coming up straight with the hands on the hips. Let's just begin to allow a little back bend. Let me take this sideways so you can see what I mean. A little back bend and let's lift the gaze to the ceiling. And then dropping those arms down behind you to help with a little bit more. And one more breath. And coming up to straightness, raising those arms up, clasping the fingers. Let's just lift up onto the toes. Taking two more breaths here. And lowering the feet to the ground, we're gonna run through a couple of sun salutes. Two on each side, so two full sun salutes. If you know them, go ahead, go at your own pace. Uh, go with the style that works for you. If Chaturanga is in your practice, go ahead and do that. If you've no idea what I'm talking about or, you're, um, or you want to just follow along with me, please do. We'll take it nice and slowly. So let's raise the arms up, lifting the gaze to the ceiling and we're going to sweep down. Bend your knees as much as you need to to sweep down into a forward fold. And then we're going to halfway lift. Nice long spine here, keeping the gaze on the floor in front of you. And forward fold. Let's step that right leg back as far back as it can go. Dropping the knee, open the foot. And rise up into a low lunge, lifting the gaze to the ceiling. And hands down either side of that foot. Let's step back into a plank. Good, taking a breath here, a little micro bend in the elbows. And coming down through knees, feet, elbows in as your chest comes to the floor and roll through into a cobra. Keeping that gaze on the mat in front of you as you come through tabletop into your first dog. So let's ease into this dog. We're not in any rush. Let's just pedal those feet out. Just beginning to bring a stretch into the legs, into the hamstrings, and then into the calves. And then finding your point of stillness wherever it is, with your knees as bent as they need to be, with your heels above the floor if they need to be, wherever that stillness is, just finding that point. And now we're going to get that right foot up between the hands. You've got choices here. You can come down through all fours, stepping that right leg up. Or you can move that right leg to wherever it will go and help it the rest of the way. Or you can step it through. So whatever works for you today. As we come into a low lunge on this side. 
and hands down either side of the foot stepping that back foot up to meet the front bend those knees to come all the way up good let's take that to the other side reaching those arms up nice and tall lifting the gaze arms out to the side as we sweep down into a forward fold and halfway lift and forward fold stepping that left leg back as far as it can go rising up to a low lunge and hands down either side of the foot to step back into your plank coming down through knees feet chest into your cobra gaze on the floor for cobra as we push up through tabletop into your downward dog and let's get that left foot up between those hands by whatever means and dropping the right knee to come into your low lunge on this side and hands down either side of the foot to step it up bending the knees on the way up good let's take that again to the right raising those arms up and sweeping them out into your forward fold halfway lift nice long spine here and forward fold right leg goes back knee down and rise up into a low lunge and moving through into your plank good and coming down through knees feet chest cobra and pushing through tabletop to your downward dog getting that right foot up between the hands one way or another dropping that left knee and opening the foot to your low lunge lift back gaze to get a little back bend here and hands down either side of the foot stepping it up bend the knees to come all the way up good and raising those arms up bringing them out to the side as we forward fold and halfway lift and forward fold left leg goes back into your low lunge hands down either side of the foot to come into your plank taking a round of breath here and coming down through knees feet chest and into your cobra pushing up through tabletop to your downward dog and bringing that left foot up between your hands dropping the right knee open out the foot to come all the way up and hands down either side of the foot to step it up bending those knees to come all the way up and bringing the hands to meet in prayer well done hopefully you're feeling nicely warmed up and loosened up now from that so from here let's you can stay at the top of the mat i just want to show you what i'm talking about so let's shift the weight into the left foot and we're going to lift this right foot up so just holding on to the shin find a gaze point holding it there let's take two more breaths here good and then letting that foot come down turning the um, toes to the right so they're at a right angle the foot's at a right angle and we're going to move into our tree so you might find it easier to have your hands on your hips for this to help with the balance just lifting that heel onto your ankle you can stay here or you might want to have it on your calf or perhaps bring it up onto the thigh so whatever works for you finding your point of stillness and then raising those arms up good think about really pulling up through that inner thigh to straighten pushing that heel 
into the thigh, thigh into the heel will just help you here with stability. And taking one more breath. And with control, letting that foot come down and having the two feet together. As we push back, let me turn sideways so you can see, as we push back into a chair position. And take a turn to the right. So we want your left elbow on the back of your right leg. Turning the gaze to the right. Good. And one more breath. And coming to straightness. Standing up tall as we bring that to the other side. So we're going to shift the weight onto our right leg this time and lifting up our left leg to hold on to our shin. Standing up tall, find your gaze point nice, soft, focus on your gaze point. Notice the stillness that comes to your mind in these balances. Connect with the breath. And from here, moving it into your tree. So again, remembering to turn that knee out, putting the ankle, or the, the foot just above the ankle or onto the calf, or lifting it up to the thigh. Keeping it well clear of the knee with your hands on your hips or perhaps in prayer at the heart center or perhaps lifting that up over the head. Finding your point of stillness. Connecting with the breath. And one more breath. And slowly bringing yourself back down to lower that foot, feet together, toes together, heels just a little bit apart, sitting back into your chair, bringing those hands into prayer. And let's take that twist this time to the left. So your right elbow is on the back of your left leg. Good. Feeling into this twist here, so your chest is turning. And one more breath. And coming to center and coming all the way up. And let's step wide onto the mat. So long side of the mat, nice wide stance. And feet pointing towards the front. Let's raise those arms out to the side. So they're nice and soft. We're not pushing like mad. We're keeping it soft here. And we're thinking about our breath moving into every part of our body. So into our fingertips, to our toes, to the crown of our head. And then from here, bringing those hands onto the hips as we come forward into a forward fold, bending at those hips. And you might want to stay here, or if you like, you can bring the hands down onto the ankles. And bring yourself a little deeper into that fold, just feeling that stretch on the inner thigh there. And as you inhale, finding that length in the spine, as you exhale, going a little deeper into that fold. Good, one more breath. And bending the knees to make your way all the way up to the top. Let's turn that right foot towards the front of the mat. With your left foot, 
just turn it inwards a little bit so it's at maybe a 45 degree angle and bending that right knee so you want to keep the knee over the ankle that just gives you good stability and be careful particularly if you're a hyper extension on your uh, joints have a little soft bend in that back knee so all the time having a little softness in the joints let's raise those arms up to shoulder height softening the shoulders looking out over that front hand good for a warrior two and one more breath here let's allow that back hand to come down turning the palm to face upwards and let's follow it with our gaze as we raise it over our head for a reverse warrior. Taking two more breaths here. And coming to straightness with your hands on your hips, we're gonna step this leg, this left leg, over to the side so that our hips come into a, a square with the top of the mat. Does that make sense? So we want a square, oh, pointing forward. And from here, let's lift those arms up into a warrior one. Good, keeping equal weight on both feet. Nice bend in the front leg. Lovely. And then allowing these arms to come back behind us. Keeping the gaze upwards. And raising that gaze to the front. Let's bring those hands down either side of the foot. Keeping the knee bent for now. Let's just hop that back leg up. Good, and as it's hopped up, you can begin to see if you can start to bring a little bit of straightness into that leg. You're just letting that, let the back leg hang wherever it is, just a little bit up off the floor. Good, and letting it drop down. Walking yourself to the long side of the mat again widening out those feet as we come into a nice wide stance. Taking three breaths here. And then with the hands on the hips coming into this forward fold so we're leading with our chest. As we come all the way forward, hands down onto the ankles as we move into this nice deep forward fold. One more breath here. And bending those knees as you make your way back up again, let's turn this uh, left foot to the back of the mat and turn that right foot in. So just notice here that your hips are open for this warrior two. We'll bend that front knee, keeping the hips open and having those arms out in a T shape. Looking out over the front, soften those shoulders. And as you exhale, think about just lifting your pelvic floor, bringing the belly button in and up on the exhale. And that right hand coming onto the right hip, turning the palm upwards and raising it over the back of the head, following it with the gaze. A reverse warrior. And one more breath. Coming up straight, bringing both hands onto the hips. We're moving this foot out towards the outer edge of the mat, 
So that again, our hips are square, both hips pointing towards the back of the mat. And let's raise those arms up into our warrior one, keeping equal weight on both feet. Nice bend in the front knee, so the knee is over the ankle. Having a softness in that back knee. Good, raising the gaze to the ceiling. And one more breath here. Man, let's allow those hands to come down and hang behind us. Good, one more breath. Man, coming to straightness, bringing that gaze to straightness. Let's allow both hands to come down either side of that left foot as we lift up that right leg and just let it hover wherever it is. So all your